Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today I'm going to be talking about fussy hognose snakes that are basically fussy about their food and eating. Um, I've got a bit of experience with this because my past hognose snake that I had, Hermes, he was really fussy with his food and now it would seem that Zephyrus is kind of following in those footsteps as it were. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a Zephyrus kind of vlog where his feeding is concerned because over the past sort of, I'd say two months, he's been picky about his food. Now, when I first got him in April, he was feeding off the tongs. I had him in a two foot tank um, and yeah, he was fine. I thought, right, you know, I've heard that Hoggy should really be in a three foot tank. So that is what I got him. Um, I thought, okay, this is fine. So I got him a three foot tank, the big tank that he's in now. Um, and anyway, so I put him in that and he was all right with his food. He started to not want to eat off of the tongs anymore. So I thought, right, okay. So I got him a feeding dish and I would put a hopper mouse on the feeding dish and leave that with him. And for quite a few weeks, he was feeding um, off of the feeding dish and he was eating his mice. And then one time I cleaned him out, put him back in. And then the next week when I was due to feed him, um, he just would not eat. I've left him for about, for the past seven weeks, I'd left him, you know, with the mouse in his tank and whatnot. And he just was not eating. So um, I actually went on to snake discovery. I wanted to do a bit more research as to why he might not be eating. Now, when I watched Snake Discovery, the lady said that um, it could be because I've changed his tank up and now he's in a bigger tank. And I've tried to put in as many different hides and foliage and bits and bobs for him to sort of, you know, hide under and hide in and whatnot. But she was saying that that might not always work. It they will still feel vulnerable in quite a big enclosure now the three foot isn't a problem it's the actual height of this vivarium that i've got him in now so i'm going to hold my hands up and say i made a mistake and i should have measured this vivarium that i've got now that he's in i should have measured it all up and made sure it was the right dimensions when i got it and started putting it together I was like, wow, this is tall. So, um, yeah, so I made a mistake there. So in the next few months, I'm going to get him a vivarium that's the same size as Aristeas's. So three foot by 15 inch by 15 inch. So at the moment, he's in a three foot um, by two foot by two foot or something like that. It's it's quite big for a hoggy. You don't need that bigger size of vivarium. So as I say, I've made a mistake with that. So I'm going to get him a smaller vivarium. Um, I'm not going to change up his vivarium just yet because he is still sort of settling into this one. And uh, actually last week he had, he's basically broken his seven week fasting of not eating. Um, but it wasn't the case that I was able to feed him in his vivarium. I had to get a blue bowl, which is this microwave bowl. I've taken the thing off the top so there's an air vent. Um, so yeah, so the lid comes off that and there's an air vent. And this bit, I've drilled some holes all round the sides so there's air vents. And what I did the other week, as I say, what I did last week was I just put, um, I copied what the lady said from um, Snake Discovery. And she said, don't put the prey in the middle, which is what I'd done in the past with Hermes. And, you know, he would just go round and round and not eat it. So that's kind of where I now realised I was making my mistake with him. So anyway, so I put the food sort of there and I put the lid on. And because the lid's see-through, I don't want him getting distracted. So I put this over the top, just this bit of tissue. And um, yeah, and he ate. So as I say, using this bowl, putting Zephyrus in this. Um, and as I say, covering it over so he doesn't get distracted with looking at things and whatnot. He did actually eat. So I think the key for him now at the moment, while he's in this big tank and maybe 
getting distracted by things in the tank because as I say the feeding dish is in there with his mouse but there's so much in his tank he is just getting distracted so I thought right I'm going to try this so as I say I just bought this off of Amazon for five pounds yeah and it worked a treat as I say I put the I gave him a fuzzy mouse not pinky it was a fuzzy mouse um because I thought he's not eating for a while I don't want to just give him his regular bigger meal because he's not been eating for a while so I thought I'm going to start off small again so he did actually eat that fuzzy mouse so it's only like that big um, and sort of that wide so it's not that big and yeah I left him in that bowl um, on top of one of my other vivariums and um, I left him for about an hour now the lady on snake discovery said to leave for half an hour but I thought I've done that with Hermes in the past and he's just not eaten so I've left him a bit longer than he's eaten so I thought for me personally an hour um, is the sort of time frame that I want to you know leave Zephyrus in there for just to make sure he's got a bit of time to settle go around the bowl find his food eat it and so on and so forth so yeah so he did eat and um, I put the bowl I took the lid off the bowl put the bowl in his tank he climbed out and went wherever and hid and then I took the bowl out again um, and I tell you what when one of your snakes has not been eating for weeks and then they start eating again oh it's like the happiest moment i was so happy so yeah so he has eaten now he's broken that sort of seven week fasting whatever you want to call it and i would say it is unusual for hoggies during the summer to do that because even hermes as fussy as he was he did eat throughout summer uh, well the, the two summers that I had him I am expecting um because with Hermes as well and even with Aristeus who is an amazing eater Aristeus eats every time I've not had any trouble touch wood with him at all he eats like he's the king snake he's crazy for his food um but even then I'm expecting him to go off in the winter for a couple of weeks three weeks of it you know he'll go off his food because it gets cooler the light levels are lower um so I'm expecting that that's fine and I'm also expecting that with Zephyrus so the reason at the moment why I why I am desperate to feed him up is because winter's coming and um, no Game of Thrones jokes please um, but yeah, so winter, you know, it's a few months away and I think Zephyrus will have that feeding break. So at the minute I am desperate to feed him up and I'm hoping that this week, because I feed my hoggies once a week, so I'm hoping that this week he will actually eat again in that bowl. So I'm going to offer him a fuzzy for the next sort of few weeks and then just sort of build him up uh going back onto the hopper mice because uh, i don't want him to regress to have to go all the way back to pinkies and then you know it's just it's too much he's three years old and he should be on hoppers and i know that some hoggies even are bumped up to small mice so but he's the biggest that he will get now with with him being three years old he's not going to get much bigger than that so yeah so i know sorry i've been i feel like i've been chatting on for ages and ages but i do have a lot of knowledge where hoggies are concerned in general but when it comes to feeding there's things that you know i've still been learning and i tell you what snake discovery is awesome you know it's helped me so much and i just you know i can't wait to try and feed Zephyrus this week so normally Wednesday is my feeding day I might move it to Tuesday at the moment it's Sunday so today is Sunday um, I might try and feed him on Tuesday maybe Wednesday I'm thinking maybe leave it a bit longer then he gets hungry so yeah I'll try and feed him on the Wednesday and I'm hoping that I can get this video up for Thursday and stuff so at the moment I'm not actually getting Zephyrus out of his tank I'm just leaving him to it because I know it's another thing is if you're handling a snake that's not felt too comfortable or settled in their enclosure and stuff like that um, if you're then getting them out and holding them and things like that you know they're not going to want to eat and so I'm just kind of handling him as little as possible but uh, yeah I mean he is used to me and now and again he hisses but you know over the past couple of weeks he's not been as hissy he's been very active but not hissing at me so I guess maybe he's just getting used to me but <laughs> anyway so yes yeah, so I'm gonna like stop this 
part of the video here for now and then hopefully I can show you over the next two or three days him eating and well I won't be able to show you him actually eating because I just won't be able to film that he just needs absolute privacy so um hopefully it'll be a before bowl with the mouse and Zephyrus in and then an after bowl with just Zephyrus in it with no mouse so fingers crossed if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen um you know I'm not obviously going to force him and i think the key is to not to try and feed um a fussy snake every two three days or something because that just stresses them out and then they associate food with being stressed and then it'll be a nightmare to try and feed them so i'm just going to try and feed him every week like normal every wednesday on a wednesday um oh the other thing i forgot to mention was i tried lance fish it didn't have any of those so um you know he's not eating that but it's an option it's there so last week as i say he did eat and it was a fuzzy mouse so i'm just going to try the same thing again and get him to eat the mice and then build him up to his uh, usual hopper mice but yeah i mean he might eat a you know fish in the future or something one of those little fishes because i know that's more what hoggies eat they um in the wild they tend to eat things like sort of frogs fish that sort of, that's the sort of thing they would come across um, and I know that's more part of their diet I know that you know obviously they can eat rodents and things like that but I think in the wild they get that little bit more selection and they are more inclined to eat as I say with frogs and fish and whatnot you know so <laughs> anyway so yeah so I'm going to leave this bit of video here for now and hopefully I can show you an empty bowl when Zephyrus has eaten and um you can celebrate with me because it's just so nice when they start eating again so anyway yes that's it for now and uh, yeah thanks for watching so as you can see we've got a hopper mouse on the left hand side and a fuzzy mouse on the right hand side the hopper mouse is going to go to Aristeus and the fuzzy mouse is going to go to Zephyrus so yeah so he's having this one here um so yeah so i'm going to feed him that and um, they're defrosted now so uh anyway in a few weeks hopefully i'll be able to up him to the hopper mouse and then you know and then go back to where we were a few months ago but uh yeah we'll just see how he gets on with the fuzzy so let's find zephyrus there you are little boy <laughs> can't quite see where his head is but yeah there he is okay <laughs> he's like a lightning bolt he's so fast we've got yeah <laughs> so we got Zephyrus and so now I'll put the pinky there at the edge of the bowl I'm going to put him in there and then close this. There we go. I'm just making sure that's pressed down. I'm gonna put this bit of tissue on the top. And uh, yeah, just leave that there for now. Fingers crossed, Zephyrus has eaten his food. can't see anything in there fantastic right so what i'm gonna do is open this vivarium up take this lid off yes you might be hitting at me little boy put his bowl on there sorry about the flashing lights and there he goes <laughs> So I can just remove this and that's him fed. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Hello, little boy. I'm so pleased you've eaten your food. <laughs> oh, bless him. Are you wanting more? <laughs> Oh, you're such a cute boy. He's done really well eating this food. I'm just pleased he's back eating again. So happy. Um, but yeah, there we go. 
That's little Zephyrus for you. As you can see from that video, Zephyrus did eat his food. So that's now two weeks running. He's had a fuzzy. So I'm going to do another two weeks of him having a fuzzy mouse. And then um, after those two weeks are up, I'm going to boost him up to a hopper. Because as you can see on that video, there's not a massive difference between a hopper mouse and a fuzzy anyway. Obviously the hopper's uh, bigger, but it's, you know, not by much. So uh, anyway, so yeah, so I'll get him on those in a couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, so that's it for Zephyrus's little feeding vlog um i kind of wish i'd been sort of vlogging about his feeding sooner like over the past sort of seven weeks and how stressful it's been trying to feed him on different things but as i say now he's just eating in a bowl and that it's just as long as i get some food into him i'm really happy so and yeah i'm really happy when all my snakes eat and i can finally say that again now so uh yeah so i'm hoping you did enjoy this video and if you did then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you have any comments or questions or anything like that then just pop them in the comments section below and i'll do my best to answer but for now from myself and Zephyrus who's digesting his food it is goodbye and uh, we'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching